Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, Miss Aisha Manzoor, and you all are watching my channel, Chemistry Solutions. So today, in this lesson, we are going to attempt some of the tricky and challenging questions of Chemistry 5070, Paper 1. So I have received these questions from my students, so I, ha I have used these questions from their messages. So which statement about endothermic reactions are correct? Energy is absorbed from the surroundings. Energy is released to the surroundings. The temperature of the reaction mixture falls. The temperature of the reaction mixture rises. So every one of you must know. So this is the energy profile diagram for the endothermic reactions where products have more energy. When products have more energies than reactant, then in that case you people must know that they have absorbed the energy from the surrounding. So this option is correct. So whenever endothermic reaction take place, the temperature of the surrounding will fall. If this is a room temperature, then minimum temperature it will achieve because product is having the energy. Not it is going to give you the energy to the surrounding. It In the end, endothermic reaction, they absorb the energy. More energy is absorbed in bond breaking than release in bond making. So that's why we will say that the energy absorbed. And always remember, in endothermic reactions, energy, not energy released, the temperature of the reaction mixture falls. Okay. In exothermic reaction, energy released and temperature rises. So these are the options for the exothermic reaction. So correct option is A. This one is the answer is 1 and 3. Which is a pure compound? Dry air, ethanol, steel and petrol. So we are talking about the compound, not the, uh, not the, we are not talking about the, an element. Dry air is a mixture. This one is the mixture, okay. Ethanol is a compound. Steel is a mixture. And again, petrol is a mixture of so many things like hydrocarbons and like additives and so many things. So here is the ethanol, which is a pure compound. There is, mixture is not the pure substance. Uh, substance. Make pure thing is always come along with the single thing, which is present in one compound or a one element. This is a question from May June 16, question number 18. Which equation does not represent a redox reaction? So you all must know that the redox reactions are those reactions in which oxidation and reduction taking place simultaneously. Always remember that the precipitation reactions and neutralization reactions are not the redox reactions. So here is the aqueous ammonia, ammonia and acid. It reacts to produce ammonium sulfate to neutralize this reaction acid. Uh, the salt is basically a neutral particle. So A, this reaction is basically the, is not the redox reaction. Always remember precipitation reactions and the neutralization reactions are not the redox reaction. The formation of a liquid water from hydrogen and oxygen is true, is, is though to occur in three stages. So here are the three stages which are given to us. We have to identify which stages would be exothermic. So which is exothermic? Exothermic always come along with the formation of bonds. So whenever the bonds will form, in exothermic reactions, bonds formation is there. Okay. So we will see that then two bonds are formed atoms are converted into new bonds that are H2O. Whereas gas is converted into liquid, this is the process of condensation. In the condensation process, always energy is being released. So whenever energy is released, then we will say this reaction is exothermic. Here bond breaking is there. This one is not the exothermic reaction. This one is the endothermic reaction. So correct option is 2 and 3. Yes, D is the correct option. So now look at the next question. The diagram shows the steps by which carbon dioxide gas can be converted into organic products and finally returned to the atmosphere. 
Which step is endothermic? Very obvious in option A. This option is shows carbon dioxide gas reacts with water to produce glucose molecule. That is basically the endothermic reaction. So in endothermic reactions, all of it energy is absorbed because this process of photosynthesis take place in the presence of sunlight and it produces oxygen gas organic product and finally return to the atmosphere so it returned to the atmosphere as well so it produces oxygen gas as well so our correct option is a so this is a question related to the electrolysis what this question tell us concentrated aqueous calcium iodide the question is related to calcium iodide undergoes and that will be the aqueous this state is aqueous when less water is there in a similar way concentrated and aqueous is the same thing both terms are used for the same uh, for the same it stands for the same conditions for the electrolysis so calcium iodide is an electrolyte having ions ca2 plus and i2 i2 i minus these are the ions and as some of the water is there so h positive and oh negative is there so one thing you all must know in positive ions there is no competition we are not going to decide which ion will go the hydrogen ion is low in the reactivity series so positive ions go towards the cathode so at the negative electrode hydrogen gas will produce so it can be this and it can be this okay hydrogen ion will be produced now come towards this as aqueous state or concentrated state is there then in that case iodine will produced with hydrogen this b is correct not oxygen will produce because if dilute will be there then hydroxide will produced with concentrated halogen will go always remember so correct option is b Which statement about ionic compounds is correct? Ionic compounds conduct electricity when solid because they contain no 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 ionic compounds conduct electricity when aqueous or molten. So this option is wrong. Ionic compounds consist of lattice of positive and negative ions. Yes. most ionic compounds are solid at room temperature because of the strong attraction between electrons no between negative and positive ions between negative and positive ions this one is wrong when molten or in aqueous solution ionic compounds conduct electricity because they contain electrons no they contain ions so correct option is b this uh, rest of all are wrong which diagram correctly shows the arrangement of the ions in a solid you all have to remember one thing that the the ionic bond is formed by the transfer of electrons and they have positive and negative charges so they must know how to uh, show the charges positive positive this will not be correct option positive negative then negative to negative no this one is wrong positive negative the negative positive positive negative so oppositely charges attract each other this one sodium ion chloride the same ions no this one is not so correct option is c compound q reacts with bromine to form the compound shown which is compound q so we have to know which is the compound q we have to make 1 2 1 2 dibromo butane so if bromine will be added this one will not be because already bromine is there no this one is the correct top always bromine is there no this one not the part so we have to consider no it's a position 1 2 so 1 2 position will be there not 2 3 so for this it is not correct this answer is correct for this reaction because we have to Uh, we have to give a clear look on the presence and the position of the number of bonds so this is the question five structures are shown 
which structure represents identical molecules okay this one is the one two but one in this one is two methyl propene two methyl one propene this one is not the part this one is one two three four one two butene yeah but one sorry but but one in uh, one two again but one in this one is one two but two in so what is the which structures represent the identical molecules this one is one three and four one three and four so correct option is c in separate experiments sulfur dioxide a reducing agent was passed through acidified solutions of potassium dichromate 6 and potassium magnate 7 which pair describes the color changes observed in the experiment so all of you must know and memorize a color change from potassium for potassium dichromate the change of color is orange to green and the color of potassium magnate is purple to colorless or pink to colorless so a is correct option so this one is very tricky question found by the students so all of you must know how to solve this question gas p decomposes to form gas q two experiments are carried out to investigate the rate of reaction the conditions are the same except that two different temperatures t1 and t2 are used the results are plotted on the graphs drawn to the same scale so this here is the graph which we have to think about it and we have to have a close look on the graph as well uh we have to calculate the number of moles of x and y first check the p and q we will uh, count the bars 1 2 3 4 5 & 6 for the p p is equal to 6 and for q is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 & and 9 nine boxes are for q so again we can count here 1 2 3 4 5 6 same and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we have p 6 and q 9 we can simplify this value Two threes are sorry. Three twos are six and three threes are nine. So our x value is two. Two, whereas p value is three. So we will check in our answer where two and three is present. Two for x and y for three. So these two options are may be the part of the answer. Two and three. Now come towards t one and t two. So how we can justify the t one and t two? look at the steeper curve steeper curve shows this one is the less steep curve steeper curve shows that this reaction is having the greater rate of reaction because of higher temperature so higher temperature shows a greater rate so t1 is higher than the t2 so this option a is correct for this reaction ethyl amine is gas ce2h5nh2 and hydrogen chloride gas hcl react together to form a white solid ethyl amine hydrogen hydrochloric hydro, ethyl amine hydrochloride at which position in the tube would a ring of solid white ethyl amine hydrochloride form now we have to look the masses of the substances we will calculate the formula mass and molecular mass of the substances c2h5 this is the molecular mass for nh2 24 plus 1 into 5 5 plus 14 plus 2 so what is the answer plus 14 plus 2 answer is 45 so molecular mass for this substance is 45 whereas for hcl is 
थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव बिकॉज थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव फॉर सी एल एंड फॉर हाइड्रोजन इट्स वन द आंसर इज थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सो दिस द मूवमेंट फ्रॉम द इथाइल अमाइन गैस विल बी स्लोअर देन द हाइड्रोजन कोलोराइड सो इट विल मूव हेयर इट विल मूव स्लोली 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 एंड इट विल मूव हेयर एंड मेक द कंपाउंड सो एज यू नो दैट इट विल मूव लिटर फास्टर टू मेक द प्रोडक्ट हेयर इट विल कम हेयर ओके सो इट विल मूव फास्टर टू मूव वेयर एज द इथाइल अमाइन विल मूव लिटर स्लोली सो it will reach here to make the product it will move slowly near the half because it's the difference is not too much so you have to measure the values accordingly the ion q2 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 plus has three complete shells of electrons what is q calcium magnesium oxygen and sulfur now ion is having three complete shells so this ion is q 2 plus and it is it contains two three shells means in first two eight and eight so we have to calculate two plus charge for two plus charge meaning q atom is going to lose two electrons their charge will tell us how many electron they will lose so they will have three complete shells after losing the electron so you people can identify these substances by using the periodic table the element which is having three complete shell mean this one is the period 1 2 3 and 4 you have to identify this one is this one is the calcium okay so correct option is c now we have to move on gas x has the following properties colorless no effect on either red or blue litmus paper no effect on lime water flammable so if flammable gas is there then you people must know that hydrogen is a flammable gas oxygen is helping in combustion but not a flammable gas chlorine not a flammable gas whereas ammonia is not a, uh, is uh, no effect on ammonia is alkaline in nature chlorine can also effect on the litmus paper uh, ammonia can uh, Uh, uh turns red litmus paper blue but hydrogen gas is not turning the red litmus paper blue so correct option is hydrogen look at this structure what is the possible formula for this compound so this is the formula of an ionic compound so we are not going to consider this so2 now we are going to have a look on nacl and mgo i have i have um, pasted some of the diagrams for the mgo and nacl there is an equal symmetry along with the atoms because one atom is going to attracted by the another one but here is little bit different di different one so it will be odd in even out if you will uh, switch towards this technique and you will get the answer caf2 the boiling point of various gases found in the air are shown below if the air is cooled the first substance to condense is water if the temperature is lowered further what is the next substance to condense argon carbon dioxide nitrogen and oxygen so we have to know after water 78 first if we are going to compress cool down the gases then first we will reach towards the temperature that is minus 78 so carbon dioxide gas is the correct option the diagram shows the structures of two forms of carbon so this one is the diamond and this one is the graphite they both are allotropes of each other chemically they are same but physically they are different which of x and y conduct electricity so graphite can only the non metal which can conduct electricity because of the presence of free moving electron whereas diamond cannot so c is the correct option i don't think so why students feel this am see ko little difficult now this question is from may june 18 the diagram shows the apparatus that can be used to extract aluminum from its ore j is basically the positive electrodes eh? whereas k is the mixture of aluminum oxide 
and cryolite that is Na3AlF6 whereas L is molten aluminum and this one last one is the steel tank that is cathode but we do not have to answer about this cathode JKLN uh, J, uh, J is positive electrode aluminum oxide and cryolite D is the correct option for this reaction The diagram show an electrolysis experiment using inert electrodes. So whenever you people have a look on such kind of reactions where you people will see that the volume of uh, gas is double whereas this volume is half then always there will be the electrolysis of water that will be the if hydrogen is there or hydroxide ions are there it will give us 2H2O plus O2 plus 4 electron whereas 4 hydrogen ions will gain 4 electrons to produce 2 moles of hydrogen gas. So here you can identify that double the hydrogen gas volume whereas oxygen volume is lesser one. Now we will identify which compound gives us this kind of reaction. Not copper sulfate, we are not going to get oxygen and uh, hydrogen not with concentrated sodium chloride we will get uh, with concentrated sodium chloride we will get hydrogen and chlorine so we are one ratio one naiga yamper in dilute sulfuric acid ethanol will not be the part with dilute sulfuric acid we will get this these equations and reactions which row is correct for the reaction of the alkene with steam and a catalyst alkenes are here products are here but you have to focus on only product, only one product will form. But if we are going to talk about this, it can be one, it can be two. We have to add steam. And steam is having H2O. With the H2O, it will have the H positive ion, OH negative ion. The connection with its A, one H and one OH will be connected with the ethene. For the option A, answer can be CH3. CH OH CH3 okay for it can be it A can be written like this CH3 CH2 and CH2 OH so two options can be there two products can be formed two, but two propanol or one propanol similarly with B we can get one butanol and two but butanol but with option C, we have a, only one product. We can have CH3, CH, OH, CH2, and CH3. CH3. Whereas it can be CH3, CH2, CHOH and CH3 this one is 1 2 3 4 2 butanol with this same 1 2 3 4 2 butanol so for this we will have a same one single product it will be if it will switch the position then remain the name will remain same so with C part the answer will be according to its structure it will produce only one product. The diagram shows electrolysis of a mixture of aqueous copper 2 nitrate and aqueous silver nitrate. Electrodes X and Y are inert. Okay. Copper is above silver in the reactivity series. It can be deduced that dash is initially deposited at electrode. Dash which word correctly complete gap 1 and 2. Okay, okay. So, here are the options which are given to us. Copper, X can be copper and X can be silver. Okay. X can be copper and or X can be silver. Whereas, Y, K. This one is the positive electrode. All of you must read the statement carefully. And this one is the negative electrode. Always you people have to remember one thing that the deposition of the metal will be done at the cathode. Remember always, whenever 
the uh, deposit is initially deposited at the electrode that is the y at the y it will be deposit so we will examine this x will be exempted and x this one will be exempted so copper is above silver in the reactivity series it can be deduced that we can use the word that is the if you can see the reactivity series public has come to say has now mixture of silver nitrate in the solution and copper nitrate are there so you people always read the question carefully we have to check the competition between these two ions silver ions and between copper ions so copper is silver is below the reactivity series silver is copper is above and silver is below so copper is present above the reactivity series where is silver is below so silver ions will move towards the cathode ions because mixture is there so x is our silver this one is our silver is initially deposited at the electrode so first silver will deposit in the at the cathode because silver electrode is there so this these gaps will be filled with this so answer is d so which reaction doesn't involve either oxidation and reduction i already have told it to you that the neutralization reactions are not the redox reactions so copper oxide and sulfuric acid forming salt and water only so this one is a neutralization reaction neutralization reactions and precipitation reactions are not the redox reactions a compound decolorizes acidified potassium manganese kmno4 okay purple or, or pink color of kmno4 will be decolorizes what could this compound be mgcl2 fecl2 or ethanol okay so alcohol whenever we will add the oxidizing agent acidified kmno4 in ethanol it will produce ethanoic acid whereas it can be the um, oxidized fe2 plus to fe3 plus ion so 2 and 3 will be correct option fe2 plus to will be converted into fe3 ions by losing the electrons and ethanol will be converted into ethanoic acid because of the presence of this oxidizing agent which element is most likely to be used as an industrial catalyst nickel is used in the hydrogenation of uh, um, unsaturated hydrogenation of oil to form Uh, to convert unsaturated hydrocarbon to saturated one at 200 degree centigrade so nickel is used basically transition metals are basically the part of the things which are used to conduct electricity so the oxide of an element x increases the rate of decomposition of h2o2 okay to produce uh, at the end of the reaction the oxide of x is unchanged <clears throat> which details are those of x okay the oxide of an element x increases the rate okay the basically this the decomposition of h2o2 will be taken place to form hydrogen and oxygen the catalyst which is used that is the mno2 we can identify and check the uh, atomic number of manganese from the periodic table that is 25 and atomic mass of manganese manganese this one the manganese is 55 so this is the catalyst manganese the mno2 which is used as a catalyst to speed up the reaction and af after the reaction it will remain unchanged simple cell is not the part of the uh, uh, part of the syllabus now but uh, the question is asked by the students so i am going to answer a simple cell is shown below zinc electrode is there with copper electrode voltmeter meter is there always remember one thing 
that the cell always be formed between two metals of different reactivity so here is copper and here is zinc so voltmeter is there to check the electrolysis uh, uh, current which is going to pass and electrolyte is there so which statement about the process occurring when the cell is in oppression copper ions are formed in solution no there is no copper ions this is not electrolysis this is simple cell electrons travel through the solution no electrons travel through the wire and electrons will move from the higher uh, from the more reactive metal towards the less reactive metal the current direction will be like this the reaction yes zinc metal which will be this zinc metal will lose its two electrons to form zinc ion so this c is correct zinc increases in mass no zinc decreases in mass so the correct option is d so everyone best of luck for your your exams do not forget that the consistency is the key of success so signing off misaisha manzoor